Welcome to Meet the Press Now. I'm Yami Shalsendor in for Kristen Welker on a day when Congress is trying to get a lot done fast. There's a government shutdown looming. There's a storm set to hit much of the country just as members are trying to get out of town and home for the holidays. And in just a couple of weeks, control of the House changes hands, which for Democrats means losing control of committees, including those that have sought to hold former President Trump accountable. And right now, members of the House Ways and Means Committee are meeting behind closed doors. We believe they will be voting on whether to make President Trump's tax returns public. The committee received the former President Trump's President Trump's returns after a years-long legal battle. Later today, committee chairman Richard Neal is expected to speak to reporters. Meanwhile, it's been one day since the January 6th committee issued criminal referrals for former President Donald Trump, placing the blame for the attack on the Capitol squarely on the former president. Now Congress is making its first legislative move to prevent a future January 6th style attempt to overturn election result. Early this morning, congressional leaders unveiled the details of the spending bill to avoid a shutdown. Here's Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell expressing satisfaction with the deal. I'm pretty proud of the fact that with a Democratic president, a Democratic House, and a Democratic Senate, we were able to achieve, through this omnibus spending bill, essentially all of our priorities. The text of the $1.7 trillion government funding bill includes an overhaul of the 1887 Electoral Count Act, which aims to eliminate the legal ambiguities Trump supporters attempted to exploit in January 2021. The bill would clarify the vice president's role in certifying an election as purely there to count votes. It raises the threshold to force a vote to object to a state's electoral votes, and it would also prevent states from submitting competing slates of electors. Senate Democratic leader Chuck Schumer today called the Electoral Count Act reform one of the most important parts of the spending bill. One of the most important pieces of this bill is the Electoral Count Act, which will not just reaffirm Democrats' commitment to passing democratic dem democracy reforms, but it's an important step to preserve our democracy in generations to come. The electoral uh, uh, college process was flawed, and this makes some very significant corrections. If approved, the omnibus bill, including the Electoral Count Act reform, would be a tangible bipartisan step to prevent another plot to overturn an election from happening again. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.